Hey, this is Autumn at A&D Homestead. Today we will be talking about my lambs. These lambs were born at a, in about February, so they are totally weaned off their mothers by now. They are open grazing in their own separate area, so they can't latch onto their moms again, but they're also too young to be bred quite yet. So we gotta keep them away from moms and rams. Right now, I literally just let them graze on grass. The only reason I would give them grain is to move them into a new paddock. I don't like giving them grain because it makes their feet grow and that can give them some actually pretty bad infections. We have mostly hair sheep. My business is hair sheep, but we happen to have four wool lambs in here because we orphaned them from a different farmer who couldn't take care of them anymore. Uh, we will end up having to sell these because I do not do wool sheep for a number of reasons. So would you care to tell us what hair sheep are? Uh, they're pretty much sheep without the wool and they have a bit more, like they have better antibodies so they don't get bacteria as quickly. Yeah, you can see some of my woolies, they're a bit darker. I personally like wool sheep, they're really friendly but they're not the easiest to keep which is why I don't keep them. Um, the woolies probably aren't the friendliest. We just bottle fed those woolies, so they're really friendly. Hair sheep, um, they're just a lot easier to keep. Like I said, it's so much easier to make sure they don't get worms. Their hoof care is a lot easier, and also you don't have to worry about uh, shearing expenses and stuff because they shed their winter coats. Uh, they sh they're all done shedding their winter coats by now. They shed them, they finished shedding about a month or two ago. I really enjoy having new lambs and I'm excited to breed them and have more babies and they'll be super cute. If you liked this video, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Thanks! Bye!